Welcome to the video guys, this one is a top 5 in 5 minutes June edition. What this is going to be is every month at the beginning of the month there's going to be a top 5 favourites of whatever it is. So this one is going to be PlayStation, so next month it could be anything from uh, Xbox, it could be films, different genres of films, foods, cars, anything like that. So what we need to do is comment down below, let me know what you think, what do you want and then we can go from there. Okay, so let's stick a timer down in the bottom corner, let's get that 5 minutes on the clock, let's go. So, to start off, we're going to start with PlayStation 1, the originals. This one, that is one of the originals as well, it's one of the very early ones. We've got all the three original Spyros. So we've got Spyro 1, 2, 3. Now, these are like your childhood hero type thing. That was like my go-to game as a kid and I loved it. Fourth up is Rayman, the guy with no limbs. That was actually my godmother got me into this game. It was a brilliant game as a kid. Um, there's a few out, I think. I've only got this one. Last but not least for the PlayStation 1 is Hogs of War. Now that is a quality game. Rest in peace, uh, Rick Mail, the guy who did the voiceover for it. That was a brilliant game. It was just basically really pixelated pigs trying to blow each other up like they're in war. That's as simple as I can put it. You had like a time limit to go from one person to another. If you didn't do it in that time limit, you got stuck with it and that was it. You missed your turn, next person comes along, blows you up. That's PlayStation 1, done that way. So the next one up is the PlayStation 2. This is actually the one from when I was a kid. It's a satin silver edition. Love this thing, this is like what got me into gaming from the very, very get-go. I've only got four games here at the minute. The fifth on my list is MX versus ATV Untamed. That game was brilliant. That was all around just open worlds, um, 4v4s, monster trucks, quads, motocross bikes, everything. I don't think it was online. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it wasn't online. It was just, it was just uh, single player. On to the fourth one, it would be GTA 3, I'm a big GTA fan. Didn't really do it for me that much. Uh, before I even got GTAs, my parents didn't really let me play them, so I was only allowed Driver 3. It was like the less violent version of GTA. So I had that for ages, loved that game. There's three different locations. I think it's Miami, Nice, and Istanbul. So that is a good one if you don't want to let your kids play GTA. Next up, now this is touchy because that's San Andreas. Now, that's only at number two for me. It was a very good game, loved it. Obviously, everyone knows what the GTA franchise is from Rockstar. It was a brilliant game, um, just because there's so much variation in it. And for its day, when that came out, that was incredible. That was graphic galore, there was just, oh, it was mental. So that's it for number two on the PlayStation 2. My top for PlayStation 2 is GTA Vice City. That was like the epitome of all GTA games for me. It's just how it was laid out, all the different music. That is the one big thing that made this game. The music was incredible. Now, that's it, PlayStation 2. We're out of time for them. So, on to PlayStation 4. Starting from the top, Black Flag. Now, my family name is actually in the um, guidebook to this. Francis Spriggs, I think he was called, as a pirate. Very good game, massive open world. Loads to do, loads to find out in the game. It's got a very good story and you never get bored. Next up, God of War. Now, I think last year that won Game of the Year. Yeah, so, so, I did like it. I still play it every now and then. I never actually completed it, but it is a very good game, very good storyline, and I'd highly recommend that to anybody who wants to get really in-depth and there's loads of, like, little bits in the game. That's one of my personal favourites that is a, is a go-to game. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I've got the extension DLC for it. It's brilliant. The storyline is very well laid out, it's long, I think I've put nearly 80 hours into it, maybe more. The graphics are brilliant, the way the storyline's built, the actual way the... I'm not going to give too much away, but the way the animals react in a game to certain things is brilliant as well. Um, yeah, so that's number three. In at number two is Red Dead Redemption 2. Last year that was one of the most talked about and hottest games. It's a prequel to number one, so obviously this happens before number one, so if you want to play number one, I would say play it, you play it before that, but obviously when it came out, it was eight, nine years ago, so you'd have forgotten what happened. So play this first, then play number one. The graphics are a lot different. This is incredible graphics. Obviously online had a few issues when it first came out. I think they're resolved, but it's a brilliant game just to plant loads and loads of hours in and you'll never get bored. Um, there's loads of little side missions, loads of things to collect. There's loads of stuff on with that. 
Number one for PS4 is GTA 5. Like I said, I'm a big GTA fan. Rockstar, always pull it out of the hat, and this game just did everything for me. The map's huge, there's so much going on, there's so many different vehicles, online is incredible. It's getting a bit too pricey though with things online where it comes to buying a car at five million dollars, but, you know, it's part of the game. Very highly recommend that, obviously it is really violent, so kids under 18, you might be able to play it if your parents like you. So, for PlayStation, these are all my games, I've got a big collection there, I've got some other games up there, I've got all the ones in the background, they're not too good. So if you like this top five in five minutes, leave a like, comment it down below, tell me what I should do for next month, it's going to be at the beginning of every month, either a Wednesday or a Sunday, please subscribe, turn the bell on, and also just a quick one, the next video which is due to be up on Sunday at 6pm, may be into Monday, I don't know, because I'm filming on Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be hard to edit it and get it up in time, so if it isn't up in time, it's going to be the Monday, I'm going to work through the night if I can, good, if not, expect it Monday, but thanks for bearing with me, and I'll see you later. Oh,